In today's video tutorial, I will show you how to make beautiful project in Irish lace technique. We are working on the front side of the project. We divide our work on some parts. Firstly, we make a picture in real size and pin it on a mat. Then make cords on the burden, make dreams for them, pin them, sew places of contiguity. And I'm going to fill it up all three places with chaotic mesh. And make trims. For work you need mat, cotton yarns, crochet hooks, pins, scissors. Make a picture in real size and pin it on a mat. Now let's begin the work. How to make them you can find in tutorial 7 of Crochet Elements and Projects playlist. Now I pin them. Next stage I'm going to make cord on the burden. Let's begin the work. I use double yarn, make a chain. The length of the cord you determine by pattern. I have done the chain. The burden is the chain. Now make single crochet around this chain. Here what we have. We have done the cord. Then, as you can see, I did trim made of black color of yarn. Ready cords, I pin it on a mat. As you can see, I did cord in the same way and make trim for it. In this case, I use white color of yarn. Then you should make cord for the petals or leaves. In this case, burden was the thread in the half two times and make single crochet around the burden. Then you should make some cords and pin it on a mat. I have already pinned all my cords. Then I show you how to make trim for the central part. I take my berry. In this case I use berry and make a round of single crochet. In total it should be 14 of them. Insert the hook into the stitch, take the working yarn, pull it through, make a chain. Make two single crochet into the next stitch. One, two. Make two double crochet into the next stitch. One, and two. Yarn over the hook. Make two double crochet into the next stitch. Make two treble crochet into the each of next two stitches. One, two, One, 
and two. Let's repeat again. Two treble crochet into the next stitch. One and two. Two double crochet into the each of next two stitches. One. Two. Two single crochet into the each of next two stitches. One. Make single crochet twice into the next stitch. Then make single crochet. Three and four. And to complete this round, work a slip stitch into the chain stitch and beginning of this round. Here, what we have. You should cut off the yarn. I remove my yarn to the back side. The ready element I pin it on the pattern. Then you should sew all places of contiguity here. In this case, I don't exactly sew one whole cord, just a little bit. In this case, I sew all places of contiguity. Continue the work. As you can see, I have already done the chaotic mesh in some places. I use different colors of yarn pink and variegated yarn. Now I show you how to make the chaotic mesh. After we have done the chaotic mesh, I pin my petals Next stage you should fill it up our leaf. Now I show you how to make this. For this I turn as a work. I made chains. I begin from three chain spaces, then I use five chain space. Make a chain of five, one, two, three, four, five. Turn the work, turn my cord, insert the hook into the trim of the cord. Let's repeat again. I turn the work, I remove the hook. Turn the cord, insert the hook into the cord. Take the working loop, pull it through. Chain one, two, three. Remove the hook. Insert the hook into the trim of the cord.
take the working loop bullet through chain of three one two three remove the hook We skip the next stitch and insert the hook into the second stitch. Take the working loop, pull it through. Chain one, two, three. Then you should continue this way by yourself. I have already filled it up all three places. Now I show you how to make the trim for this part. As you can see I did some trims. Now I show you how to make such element. Two hours of work. I turn my cord as you can see. Now let's begin. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the third stitch. Make double crochet. Yarn over the hook twice. Make three treble crochet into the same stitch. One. Let's repeat again. Let's repeat again. Yarn over the hook twice and make treble crochet. Yarn over the hook twice and make treble crochet. Yarn over the hook twice. Make three treble crochet into the next stitch. One. Two. Turn the work, yarn over the hook and make double crochet into the same stitch. We skip two stitches, insert the hook into the third stitch. Make single crochet. We have done the first element. Then you should continue in this way till the end of the pattern. We have done the trim of the leaf. Let's look at the beginning of this leaf. As you can see, I began from the small elements. In this case, I did six double crochet stitches into the each element. Two 
hours of work and make the dream. I use white color of yarn. Insert the hook into the stitch. Make a chain. Torrents of work. And make single crochet into the each stitch. Torrents of work. Then you should continue in this way till the end of the dream. I did dream made of white color of yarn. As you can see I have already done the chaotic mesh. In this case I did chaotic mesh bigger, in this case smaller. Then you should fill in up all three places in other part with chaotic mesh. Now I show you how to make the chaotic mesh. For this I turn the work. I work with this part. Insert the hook into the working loop. I begin this part. Begin from this side and continue with opposite side. I did three chains, yarn over the hook and make double crochet into the chain space. Chain one, two, three. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, take the working loop all the way through. Chain one, two, three, four. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, take the working loop, pull it through. Chain one, two, three. Remove the hook, turn the work. I turn my cord. Insert the hook into the trim of the cord. Take the working loop, pull it through. Chain one, two. Remove the hook. Insert the hook into the trim. Of the element. Take the working loop all that through. Chain one. Two. Three. Yarn over the hook. Make double crochet into the chain space. Chain one, two, remove the hook, insert the hook into the trim of the element, take the working loop, pull it through. Chain one, two, three. Yarn over the hook, 
insert the hook into the chain space and make double crochet. I do not finish this stitch. Insert the hook into the second chain space, make double crochet not finish, then yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook. Chain 1, 2, 3, turn as a work, insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet. Chain 1, 2, 3, yarn over the hook, make double crochet into the chain space, I do not finish this stitch and make double crochet not finish into the next chain space and pull through all loops on the hook. Chain 1, 2, 3, Yarn over the hook, turn the work, insert the hook into the chain space, make double crochet. I pin it. Chain one, two, three, four, five. Turn as a work, insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet. I pin it, chain one, two, three, four, five. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, take the working loop, pull it through. Chain 1, 2, 3, yarn over the hook, make double crochet. Let's repeat again. Make single crochet. Chain, turn the work, remove the hook, insert the hook into the two loops of the trim, take the working loop, pull it through. Make a chain one, two, yarn over and double crochet into the chain space. So continue working in this way till the end of this pattern. I have done the chaotic mesh in this part. In this case I use beads. Now I show you how to work with beads. Take a bead, put it on the hook. Take the working loop, pull it through. Let's repeat again. Take the working loop, pull it through. Make a chain. Turn the work and make single crochet into the chain space. Remove the hook. Now I show you how to make a trim for this part. Make single crochet into the chain space. The number of single crochet you determine by yourself. Two, three, it's enough. I continue working into the next chain space. One, two, it's enough. Continue. One, two, 
three. I do not finish single crochet, make single crochet, do not finish this stitch into the next chain space and pull her all loops on the hook. Two hours of work. Make single crochet, then single crochet into the next chain space and single crochet into the next chain space. One, two, and make into the last chain space and work into the last chain space. One, two, three. Two arms of work, four, and five. Make single crochet. Pull up the working loop. Pin it. The work is ready. You should check that all places of contiguity were sewn. After that, you can retouch your project from the mat. This is the back side of the our project. I remove all yarns. This is the back side, and this is front. In this video tutorial, you have learned how to make nice project in Irish lace technique. For this project, I used different colors of yarn, cords, mat, and crochet hook. Don't miss our new video tutorials on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.